church buildings preparing their sheeple to have their foreheads scanned. Got this email here from a brother. Um, he says, good afternoon. I have attached some recent screenshots at this church building down the street from me for your amusement. It's absolutely ridiculous. They will be requiring face masks worn at face, face masks worn at all times and check, checking temperatures at the front door. If you have a temperature higher than 99 degrees, you will not be permitted to enter the building. What a joke. Okay, <clears throat> let's see if I can show this here. You can kind of see it. It says about church reopening June 13th through the 14th, 90 minute services, 25 people Saturday, 25 people Sunday, 25 people online. <laughs> <laughs> Heil Hitler, you know, uh, do what the government tells you to do now, nah, good people. Guidelines, you will receive written guidelines by mail and or email this coming week. You will be required to wear a mask. Your temperature will be taken at the gate. Hmm. You will need to sit with your family. You cannot stay in fellowship afterwards. Chapter and verse. Well, that's right. We don't go by the Bible. We just go by what the government tells us to do. Isn't that nice? But I find it interesting if you're... If you have a fever higher or your or temperature higher than 99 degrees, well, first of all, I'd like to point out the fact that a high fever is your body actually killing viruses. Um, so you should have a low temperature that's safer that way or something. You know, that's a problem. But secondly, I'd like to point out the the fact here. What does the Bible say? Um, just another proof that the Lord is not for these church buildings. Matthew chapter 25, um, then shall the king, verse 34, then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was in hunger, and ye gave me meat, I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in, naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. No, you turn them away. You know, you, you do the heat gun thing on their forehead there, and 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 whatever and and if they're if they're sick you turn them away okay get down here to verse uh, <clears throat> um, then shall they answer also answer him saying Lord when saw we thee and well appear uh, it's not the verse I was looking for um, sick and in prison and you visited me not all right right there verse 43 sick and in prison and you visited me not uh, the Lord has an issue with people saying, hey, um, you're sick, oh, then you can't be here. You go. Go away. <laughs> and and I, thought, I thought that the coronavirus thing was not supposed to have symptoms. Some people have symptoms, some people don't. Uh, some people die, some people don't. It's just kind of, you know, we'll make it up as we go. You know, it's insane. But, again, what are they doing? Scanning foreheads get people acclimated to the thing of you get your face mask on there's a picture of a good slave right there you get your face mask on there you know which is not even covering the nose but we won't get into that um, and you scan the forehead just sit there with a zombie like stare and uh, you know okay uh, yeah um, California issues guidelines Okay, again, this is um, what we have here. May 25th, 2020, CBS News. Um, temperature and symptom screening for uh, places of worship. Okay, um, where is there even any scripture, as I've stated over many years now, where is there any scripture at all saying go to church or that you should have a public building? There isn't any. It's completely unscriptural um, yeah um, new church guidelines here uh, houses of worship congregants should be screened for any symptoms screening okay get people acclimated scan the forehead mark upon the forehead you see how it works and by the way, a lot of talk over the years of these implantable microchips, one that can go in your hand or in the forehead, and uh, that these microchips can monitor your vital signs and things like that. Again, I've proved that for years and years and years. 
You can look up the videos talking about the mark of the beast type of stuff for many, many years. Um, churches, houses of worship, places of worship, excuse me. And I find this so interesting. Um, let me just show you this video real quick here too. Old uh, Charles Lawson. I had a brother tell me about this. Um, Charles Lawson here, and uh, he's talking about the mark of the beast or the the this whole thing, how they're, they're going to control you and everything else. Listen to this. That you're living a slave to a government that has clamped down for your protection. You're safe. Yeah, he's talking about how they're clamping down. They're taking your freedom. There's your liberty from you. And they're going to have the, the whole thing of, you know, they're, they're taking freedom from you. Really? Then you go over here. Stuff excites me because... Look, his uh, congregation practicing social distancing, and they all have masks on. Except for this little girl down here. She's eating candy or something like this, I think, right there. She's a rebel. She should be, you know, kicked out or something. Her family should be tasered or something like that. So this, this raving, stinking hypocrite, Lawson, uh, the government's taking your rights away to keep you safe. You know, that's what they're doing. Amen, brother. That's, you know, we're in the house of God here. We just have to submit to what the government says. You know, if you're in a church building still and you're going to this thing and you're submitting and you're having your forehead scanned, I don't know what to tell you, okay? Uh, just don't know what to say. And, he, and he, at the end here, he says, you know, about if there's a vaccine, I'm not going to play the video, but if, if there's a vaccine, in six months, then we'll be raptured out before that. You know, in five months and, and 31 days or so, or 30 days or something like this. We'll be raptured out before. I'm going to be doing a study on that in the future because there's a lot of people who are pre trib believe in the time of Jacob, catching up before the time of Jacob's trouble, and they say, well, we won't be here for the mark of the beast, so I don't have to do anything to fight that system. Uh, I'm going to show you from the scriptures why that's wrong. We are supposed to fight. And again, you know, look at this guy here. I guess I've got to say this, it just cracks me up. This guy here, the bottom part, it looks like his face mask thing is coming off. This woman here, she's just got it tucked up under her glasses. That's going to protect you. Um, this guy here, it's, you can see his nose sticking out. <laughs> it's just so dumb. There's another guy, nose sticking out. You know, I mean, give me a break. Why would you even go back to a place like this? Uh, you know, I, I walk up to a place and they'd say, you can't come in unless you have a face mask. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm leaving. Um, no, I'm not putting a face mask on. They're completely ineffective. I've been saying that for so long. And, uh, you know, there's no science behind these stupid things. So well, the CDC has said you should wear one now. You know, oh, okay. You know, so, but it's all about getting people acclimated. You come to church, you have to have your temperature taken, you have to have your forehead scanned, you have to do this, you have to do that. Run from these church buildings, they are satanic.